What's going on everybody? Uh, earlier this week, I published a video called Cold Weather Driving Tips and Tricks. Uh, this is like a follow-up video to that one. In that video, I talked about like loss of regen, uh, how it takes longer to charge a cold battery, uh, just like general tips and tricks that you could use if you're driving in a cold weather climate. Uh, so this one is more about using Tasker to help negate some of those issues. I'm going to explain to you how it works and then I'll go through the process with you. So more or less, I want to have my battery uh, finish charging as close as possible to the morning of when I leave. So I leave at 7 in the morning every day. I want to have my battery just finish charging at 7 a.m. I also want to have my battery, uh, like the heat in my car, come on and turn on and heat up my car for at least an hour. So I want it to start at 6 a.m. Uh, both of these things are really, really easy to do using Tasker. So I'm going to take you through the task and then the profile. Uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, that's based off what I want to use it for. You might have to play around with the numbers, but I'm going to show you the task and it might be helpful to give you an idea of how to use Tasker and how to set it up to help solve some of these problems. Uh, over the last few days, I've seen so many articles about people not being able to push their door handles or the windows not coming down. And the only real advice Tesla gave was, hey, preheat your car longer. And I don't know if I agree with that. I think there has to be another solution, but uh, this Tasker task will actually help you. So let's let's get to it. Uh, so Tesla preheat. The first thing we're going to do is get our charge state and I'm going to try to highlight it. There we go. Uh, so we're going to use the Tasker plugin for Tesla, and this will basically say how much our car is charged. So it's going to get the charge state. That's going to bring back some variables, which we will use. Uh, the first if statement, if our battery level is less than 80, but greater than 70, and our and the time is 6 a.m., uh, then it's going to run the task, which is to start charging. So basically, the our battery has to charge up 10%, and I'm going to leave it an hour to charge up 10%, and it should be able to do that. Uh, our else if, if our battery is less than 70, but greater than 60, start charging at 5, uh, 5 a.m. So that'll give it two hours to charge up. Uh, and again, just to charge it, you're just using the Tasker plugin. You just say start charge. Uh, you can make it more advanced. You can say like, hey, if it's between this time and that time, and the battery charges this, uh, then stop it and all that sort of stuff. But this is the simplest solution I found. Uh, if else, again, anything below 60 so a battery can be at 58 it can be at 40 20 10 any number below 60 and the time is equal to 3 a.m start charging because you're going to want to start charging at 3 a.m to give yourself at least like four hours to charge it up fully uh again it takes longer in the cold and it totally depends on uh how fast your charger is at your house or wherever you're charging it so uh that's the simplicity of the battery. So as you can see, depending on the battery level, you're going to charge at different times of the night. Uh, the, la the, the last part of this is the cabin. So we want to heat it. So if the time is 6 a.m., right, nice and simple, if time is equal to 6, uh, then we're going to use the Tasker plugin. We're going to set our temperature, and then we're going to start the AC uh, keep that in mind. Don't miss that step. Once you set the temperature, you have set set temp here. You have to start it. Otherwise, you're just setting the temperature for when you get in and won't actually start. So that's our whole entire task. Um, the profile that goes along with it is just a simple. So between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. every hour, check the task. So our task runs on an hourly uh, if else statements. So if it's on the hour mark, it's going to do something if a bunch of variables are met. So that pretty much does it for this task. Uh, it is very, very simple uh, once you have it set up. Uh, and again, you have to play around with the numbers that works for you. Uh, this works for me and I've played around with it. So your numbers might be totally different, but I want to put it out there. Maybe this will be helpful to you. And at the very least, if you want it just so uh, you can have the task run, uh, where is it here? Sorry, if you want to have the task run just every day at six in the morning just start you know set the temperature and start your car and start heating it up if that in itself is helpful to you you can do that as well just like an automatic preheat your model three every day uh but uh that does it for this task as you guys can see i have a bunch of tasks some are published some i'm still testing uh check the description down below i'll have a link to a playlist with all the tasks i do and uh 
yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys are interested in more Tesla videos, do subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.